Thank you. Dr. Ford, um, we've talked about the day and the night that you've described in the summer of 1982, and thank you for being willing to do that. Mm -hmm. um, I know it's mm -hmm. difficult. Right, I'd like to shift gears and discuss the last several months. Okay. In your um, statement, you said that on July 6th, you had a, quote, sense of urgency to relay the information to the Senate and the President. Did you contact either the Senate or the President on or before ah, July 6th? No, I did not. I did not know how to do that. Okay. Uh, prior to July 6th, had you spoken to any member of Congress, and when I say Congress, I mean the Senate or the House of Representatives, or any congressional staff members about your allegations? No. Why did you contact the Washington Post then on July 6th? So I was panicking because I knew the timeline was short for the decision, uh, and people were giving me advice on the beach, people who don't know about <laughs> the processes, but they were giving me advice. And many people told me, you need to hire a lawyer. And I didn't do that. I didn't understand why I would need a lawyer. Um, somebody said, call the New York Times, call the Washington Post, put in an anonymous tip, go to your congressperson. And when I weighed those options, I felt like the best option was to try to do the civic route which is to uh, go to my congressperson who happens to be Anna Eshoo. Uh, so I called her office and I also put in the anonymous tip to the Washington Post and neither, unfortunately, neither got back to me in, before the selection of the nominee. You testified that uh, Congresswoman Eshoo's office contacted you on July 9th, is that right? They contacted me the date that the nominee was announced, so that seems like likely. With had you talked to about your allegations with anyone in her office before the date of July 9th? I told the receptionist on the phone. Okay. On July 10th, you texted the Washington Post again, which was really the third time. Is that right? Second okay. date, third time. Let's see. One moment. Correct. And you texted, been advised to contact senators or New York Times, haven't heard back from Washington Post. Who yeah. advised you to contact senators or the New York Times? Beach friends. Okay. Coming up with ideas of how I could try to get to people because people weren't responding to me very quickly. So very quickly they responded to that text for what unknown reason, that once I sent that encrypted text, they responded very quickly. Did you contact the New York Times? No. Okay, why not? Uh, I wasn't interested in pursuing the media route particularly, uh, so I felt like one was enough, the Washington Post, and I was nervous about doing that. My preference was to talk with my congressperson. Okay. Uh, the Washington Post, texted back that someone would get in touch, get you in touch with a reporter. Did you subsequently ta talk to a reporter with the Washington Post? Yes, okay. under the encrypted app mm -hmm. and off the record. Okay. Who was that reporter? Emma Brown. Okay. The person who ultimately wrote the story on September 16th? Correct. Okay. Did you talk to any member of Congress, and again, remember, Congress includes the Senate or the House of Representatives, or any congressional staff members about your allegations between July 10th and, the July, th and July 30th, which was the date of your letter to Senator Feinstein? Yes, I met with Congresswoman Eshoo's staff, and I think that's July 18th on the Wednesday, and then on the Friday I met with the Congresswoman herself. Um, when you met with her, did you meet with her alone or did someone come with you? I was alone. She had a staff person. Okay. What did you talk about with Congresswoman Eshoo uh, and her staff on July 18th and the 20th? 
I described the night of the incident and we spent time speaking about that. And I asked her how to, what my options were in terms of going forward and how to get that information relayed forward. And also talked to her about fears of whether this was confidential information. Um, and she discussed the constituent confidentiality principle. Sorry. Thank you.